Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. I got something that I've had for a little while, but I've been busy shooting, editing videos, and of course working. And I haven't got a chance to take a look at them yet, but I'm pretty excited. I haven't even read anything that has been said about these yet. I said, I'm gonna come out here, give a first look with you guys, tell you how I feel about them before we read anything that the company has to say. I gotta throw this plastic away. Okay, move the garbage can closer. So I've got these Sky Forger Tacomo Forge Wedges. It's a Tor 90 KBS shaft in it. That's the head. Get that top line. Not bad, not bad at all. Nice little lampkin grip. So that's the 56 degree. I kind of like a minimalist look. I don't like anything a really really too fancy, like a clean, sleek look on my clubs. So let me get all the plastic off of this. Let's go hit some wedge shots and I'll tell you how I feel. So guys, this has a nice little kind of a beveled look almost on the top line here. Okay, so I'm 75 yards out here and I'm just gonna hit some 56 degree wedges from the first cut. Just kind of get a little feel for this club. Grip feels nice, of course, this nice lampkin. I like the weighting. It's got a nice, nice solid feel in the head. Oh, pretty good. That one felt nice and crispy. Another good one, that's right at it. Not rolling out too much up there. The screen is kind of firm. Wow, really like that sound. That ball's flying a little, little right. I like that sound. So this is a 56, I normally play 54 or 58, so I would expect this to fly right in the neighborhood of that 70 yard mark, 75 yards rather. I'll hit just a few from the fairway here. I got some sand and seed, I can replace it. You know, even the shots, I feel like I'm not, like I felt like I didn't really flush that, but that gets a pretty good result. Have a nice birdie putt there. Decent though, guys. You know, not swinging the best those last few from the fairway, but still good results. We got good birdie putts. The feel of this club is nice and solid, just as I'd expect from a wedge. This 52 degree wedge, generally don't hit a 52, so a little unsure how far it's gonna fly, but we're approximately 90 yards, 88, actually 88 yards from that pin. And, and I got something in my glove. I'm not sure what that was, like a little stick or something. Feels good, I hit that one a little off the toe. Looks like it's pin high from here, a little off the toe, but still a nice feel and a nice, nice result. Okay, not exactly in the groove right now with these swings, but for the swing I'm making, we got some pretty, pretty solid results. See if we can get one in the middle of the face this time. Closer there. It's pretty soft coming off this face, I'll tell you that much. Felt pretty good. Too close for this 52. That one looked like it flew a long way. And I'm 88 yards. Looks like that one flew closer to 95. Wow, <laughs> they're jumping off the face now. Might be getting in a little groove with this wedge here. Shut that one down a little, but it really flew. Look at 
guys, I got a little short-sighted shot here with this 60. That one turned out pretty good. It's really soft off the face, so you can almost feel like you can be a little more aggressive with it. Got a camera angle there. Comes out really good. I like that. All right, guys, so we're gonna see if we can tackle a nice firm bunker here with this 60. Gonna square this one up, hit it about an inch behind the ball and try to just scrape the top level of sand. Play a little further back than I normally would for a bunker shot. Problem is sometimes you don't know what's under the sand. And this bunker, as hard as this bunker is, I would take either of those shots, to be honest with you. Square it up a little bit, play it a little bit higher. There you go. In this bunker, none of those are bad results. So guys, starting out with looks, I'm gonna say Tacoma has done a fantastic job with the looks of this wedge. I really like the minimalist design. I like to be able to look down at a wedge and not really see a whole lot going on. And I think even this Tacoma embling on the back of that wedge is pretty sharp. Just a real minimalist look to this club. Now, one thing I will say, some players like more straight lines and these wedges are a little bit rounded, especially when you get to the 60 degree wedge and if you like to kind of shut the face down a little bit on shots around the green, whether you want to hit it high or low, it may take some adjustments to the eye to get used to that. Now, feel-wise, these wedges feel great. You are going to get a little feedback on miss hits with these being a blade-style wedge. Shots hit in the center of the face. They're going to feel soft like butter. And miss hits, you're going to know you miss hit them, which probably is a good thing. Now, performance-wise, in the short time that I tested them, I'm going to say these wedges perform just as well as the top brands that are out there. The biggest pro is going to be half the cost. These wedges are going at $89 right now. Now, as for cons, I'm going to say there's two cons that I could think of. The first con is going to be there are some limited options. The 48 comes with an 8-degree bounce. The 52 comes with 10-degree bounce. And the 56 and the 60 both have 12 degrees of bounce. You're not going to be able to make make lie and loft adjustments to these sets. There's really some limited options to these sets. It's pretty much a standard club that you're gonna get with a standard grip, a standard shaft. So if these don't fit your specs, then that's gonna be the biggest con. With that being said, at half the price, you could go to a Golf Galaxy or to a pro shop or really anywhere and get these clubs lie and loft adjustments or maybe a quarter inch shorter or something like that for a minuscule price compared to what you're gonna save on the big brand wedges. The second kind that I can think of, really the rounded edges. If you're a person that you're not used to that and you like real straight lines, looking down on that will take some getting used to. Outside of that, these are some great performing wedges at a great price. I hope you enjoy my video on the Tacoma Skyforger wedges. To check out the Skyforger wedges, I'll put a link in the description. If you haven't yet seen my review of the Tacoma driver, click the video to my right. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Shore Hitter, out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit more greens. My game's obscene now.